A warm greetings to everyone. This is Terlin Rani, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering from RMD Engineering College. In this video lecture, we will discuss about the subject problem solving using C++. The topic we are going to discuss is constructor. So first we can see what is a constructor. So it is a special type of member special type of function which is invoked automatically at the time of object creation so when the main function when you are creating an object so at that time automatically this constructors are invoked and it is initialized so it is used to initialize the data members of new objects so either, uh, either it is initialized by zero or if you are providing some arguments then it is initialized with that values so the constructor has the same name as the class name so the constructor is invoked at the time of object creation only and the constructor does not have a return value so that so there is no return type in constructor so these are the three things one is constructor name as well as the class name should be same then the constructor is invoked at the time of invocation and then the third one is constructor does not have the return type though it is ha not having any value to return so the syntax for constructor is class name then within bracket list of parameters so this constructor can also be defined either inside or outside the class declaration so the syntax for defining the class constructor within the classes class name then list of parameters then within curly brace you have to mention the definition for construction so here we are having one example see the header file is included then the using namespace std then you are defining the class the name of the class here is student and you are having the uh, variables like rno name as well as fee so within the class first i am declaring integer roll number character name of 10 then double fee then in under the public specifier you have to uh, declare or define the constructor so you are having then class name is student so the constructed name is also student here student of so here there is no return type why because it is not going to return anything so there is there should not be any return type also now within this you can have the code for the constructor so i am printing like enter the roll number c in r n o then c out enter the name c in name then c out enter the fee c in fee so I am uh, prompting something and I am getting the values for register number then the name and the fee and I am having another one member function void display of so here you are having c out endl then or and no so the first you are printing the register number then fire uh, then the next name as well as next fees so in the coming to the after completing the class declaration then we are having the main function so here i am going to create a object for this class student so the name of the class here is student so the syntax is uh, name of the class followed by object name so student followed by yes so here the object created is yes so when i am calling s dot display of so when i am creating object yes so at that time automatically the student constructor will be invoked and enter the roll number the value will be uh, stored then enter the uh, name and enter the fee everything will come and the values are received from the user now what i'm going to do is i'm simply calling s dot display of so display is another function and i'm calling s dot display so what are happen is already the values are invoked and it is having some value okay so now it will be displayed so enter the roll number one not zero one enter the name guru enter the fees 19 one lakh ninety thousand so everything will be received from the user and the output is printed as one not one tab guru then one tab one lakh ninety thousand the characteristics of uh, constructor are the name of the constructor is same as the class name then the constructor should be declared under the public session why because we are uh, using throughout the program that's why we have to declare it as a public and uh, 
constructor it uh, won't use return any values so it should not have the return type then it is automatically called when we are creating object no need for calling it like other functions immediately when you uh, when you are creating the object automatically this will be created and the constructor can be overloaded so it cannot be declared as a virtual type then you are having de three different types of constructors uh, one is default constructor the next one is parameterized and the third one is copy constructor thank you